Hey, what's up, guys? So I wanted to go through a few of my favorite stretches uh, for the hip flexors. I have really, really tight hip flexors. And, um, you know, these four stretches have, have helped me a lot as far as, you know, just helping open the front side of my body up a little bit. Uh, the first one here is a, is a scorpion stretch. So I'm on my stomach. I start with my arms at 45 degrees. And I'm just picking the hips up and kind of rotating one leg over the body. Nice and easy. Um, I like to bend that knee that goes over the body and rotates right over just to take any pressure out of the knee um, and kind of eliminate that because I'm kind of I'm trying to concentrate on my hip and my and my back mostly um, and I'll adjust my arms here and there maybe a few times just to get a better stretch also in the chest and in the in the shoulder that's down um, the rotation should happen from your thoracic spine so you want to try to keep your arms on the ground uh, and best you can keep your shoulders down but uh, this is more of an intermediate advanced kind of movement. So if you if you feel like you're wicked tight just trying to do this, then you know maybe it's not for you. Um, it's also a little bit more of a mobility exercise too, and a strengthening exercise for the low back. So it just might not be for everybody. The remaining three here are a little bit more. Just anybody can kind of do them. They're good stretches. This next one is a crescent stretch. So I, I find my balance on first on one leg, and then I. I kind of lean to one side. Um, I start by grabbing the, the wrist, if you notice, and I concentrate kind of starting from head to toe, leaning to one side, find my balance on that leg, and then I'm gonna swing the back leg behind, trying to keep my chest up in good posture and really just opening the whole side of my body all the way from my shoulder, my armpit, going straight down to my hip, trying to really just open that whole side of the body up. And a big part here is to breathe. You know, you wanna be relaxed. You don't want to be tense. You want to make sure uh, you feel good when you're doing this and you're not pushing anything too far. Um, the next stretch is, is definitely one of my favorites. Um, starting on, our, on my back, I, I'm going to put my right foot on my left knee, um, just letting my body kind of naturally fall over to the side once I feel like it's in a good position, very slow. Um, as soon as I, I'm there, I'm going to push that knee open away from me and reach my right arm overhead. And I'm kind of making like a, a tug of war. Somebody's pulling my knee open away from me and then somebody's pulling my, my arm overhead. So I'm feeling like that good tug all the way from knee to wrist kind of. Um, and it's definitely one of my favorite stretches. Um, and then this last one here is a, is a half kneeling hip flexor stretch. Uh, I'm a little bit unconventional with this, so I do something a little bit differently. I, I go actually go into a posterior tilt with my hips first. Um, you'll notice a lot of other people, they, they just lean forward and kind of put a lot of pressure into that hip flexor, forcing it. Um, and you don't really need to do that. All you need to really do is, is kind of squeeze your butt in a little bit. And if you were to pretend like your hips were a bowl, kind of spill it backwards and just squeeze your butt. And that's going to put a lot of pressure on your hip flexors. And you're going to feel them stretch right there. Um, if you can, you know, put your arm up overhead and, and get a little bit further of a stretch, that's, that's even better. Um, and the same as that crescent stretch, you want to relax. And then I even lean to the opposite side a little bit, just again, trying to get a little bit more out of it, uh, out of that stretch, you know, and it feels pretty good.